Pat, how proud a moment for you is it in your career to take charge of the Barbarians against England? Yeah, you know, huge honour. Uh, just the same when, when I was asked to play for them. You know, I was around 1973 when we saw the Barbars and Gareth Edwards scoring their try in the corner and, um, you know, and they beat the All Blacks and to be asked to play for them. And then uh, my last game, I got asked to captain them, which was huge. So to top it all off, to, to coach the group is, uh, is a real privilege and honour. Why is the Barbarians Rugby Club so special? I think it's still the, um, it's a throwback to the amateur days, which, which I, I came through as well, and um, where you came in and you, you enjoyed each other's company, you, you, um, you brought all your talent together and, and went out and played, and, and it was about the, um, the real values of the game on and off the field and uh, the social aspect as well. But, and because it's like going on a tour, um, uh, the old tours away where you get a chance to just really enjoy each other's company. So, um, you know, it has a huge history. And um, so, again, it's a, a privilege to be part of it again. You captained the Barbarians in that famous game against Wales in 2002. What are your memories of that game? Yeah, I mean, I was, uh, it was my last game ever before I retired from the game. And Rod McQueen asked me to be the captain. And, um, and I remember we were down to 25 nil at the Millennium Stadium. And uh, so we all came in and, you know, and again, I think we, we might have had uh, too many social events off the field, but we talked about it. We, we fixed it on the hoof and we came back and went 48 answer points and won 40-25. But probably the highlight for me was uh, scoring in the left-hand corner right at the end, the last play of the game, last game ever. And uh, it, was, it was a lovely, lovely uh, sign-off and uh, special memory. And England at Twickenham, what an occasion that promises to be. Yeah, it'll be a tough one. I mean, you know, the, the home of rugby, if you like, and, um, you know, and it's well documented uh, the Six Nations, uh, you know, wasn't up to what, what they wanted. And so they're going to be fired and pumped up and ready to go before they head off to South Africa. They want a good game. So there's their challenge there. But, you know, the thing about the Barbarians is about coming in and, and um, you know, really getting to know each other real quick and, uh, and get out and play some rugby. So... Um, it'll be a tough challenge, but uh, it's also an exciting one.